I know Pat is the Kemi Mutombo man. Everybody can say whatever they want to say, but no one does it like Pat. No, 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 not today, not in mass. And welcome back, everybody. Pat from the Fantasy Basketball Show. Today we're going to be covering some sleepers once more, players you might want to get a jump on right now for the fantasy playoffs. Before we start, as always, let's get to our card of the day. So today we got a Raymond Felton, SPX, rookie number 200, a jersey autograph. Cool in here. Used to be good for UNC, but kind of faded away without anybody noticing. Also, before we start, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button with notifications on to keep getting these videos as soon as we post them. If you have any questions about your team, ask us in the comment section below. We'll answer every single question and check out our Discord also below. Now, let's get into this video. So starting us off, we have Onyeka Okongwu. So Okongwu is averaging almost two blocks per game, one steal, nine rebounds, and nine and a half points per game in the month of January. So far this month in February, he's been slumping a little bit in the past week. He had a three-point game in his most recent game, and he's also posted eight points or less five times already in February. So kind of concerning, but he's only 58% rostered in Yahoo League, so the number needs to be way, way higher. Only averaging 6.8 rebounds per game in the month of February, but the number should see an uptick. He shoots over 60% from the field and 75% from the line, so not bad for a center. And he's also averaging 1.5 blocks per game and 0.8 steals per game in February, so still great numbers on the defensive end. Somebody who could give you a big boost in any given playoff matchup, so see if you can get him. He's still readily available in a lot of leagues, and that needs to change. And next to Patrick Williams, so averaging 0.9 steals per game, 0.8 blocks per game on the year, so great, great defensive efficiency. Last month in January, he was seeing 32 minutes per game. This month in February, he's seeing only 26 minutes per game, so it's possible if the Bulls get eliminated earlier than expected from playoff contention, they could try to develop Patrick Williams a little bit more. They spent the top five draft pick on him as recently as 2020, so he's still a younger player, only 21 years old, so also last month in January, he's averaging almost 13 points per game, two threes, almost 50% shooting, and 5.3 rebounds, so great numbers for a player who can also get you a steal and a block on any given night. So Ad Williams, he's an excellent depth add to any roster, usually doesn't fail you, and he's saved me a ton of weeks already in the past, so a player who can really bail you out on the defensive end a lot too. And then to Devontae Graham, so Malachi Branham is injured right now, which paves the way for Graham to get more opportunity, was already doing great since he joined the Spurs since February 10th, he posted double figures in all, but one game. Only shooting 35% in the month of February, but averaging about 13 points, two and a half threes over four assists, while shooting a 77% free throw percentage. So, grab a player who can be streaky, but if you need steals and assists right now, and you don't know where to look and you're desperate, he could be a pretty sneaky sleeper in deeper leagues, especially maybe for the opening round of playoffs, if your playoffs are already starting earlier, while we still wait on updates for Trey Jones and Malachi Brenham. So, that does it for this one. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you have any questions about your team, ask us in that comment section below. We'll see you next time. Not in Mars.